It has been 50 years, almost two generations, since humanity has walked on the face of the Earth's greatest illuminary and nightlight, the Moon. For so long, human exploration of the Moon has been delayed due to the exuberant cost associated with visiting one of the greatest celestial bodies within our reach. But can we really put a price tag on the knowledge that can be gained for humanity by bringing us back to the moon? The wealth of data alone that awaits for now and future generations deserves to be sought after. And that is why NASA has finally decided we are going back to the moon. By going back to the moon, we will be generating wealth and boosting our economy. It will be creating more jobs, paving the way for scientists to study the moon and its resources. It'll be a catalyst for new technologies to emerge, and ultimately, it'll be the first step that will propel explorers to go boldly where no one has gone before, onward to Mars. This new mission to the moon by NASA, called Artemis, will not be like the prior Apollo missions that have preceded it. This lunar mission will be a beacon of hope and light, not just for man, but for all, as it will be taking the first person of color and the first woman to the moon. Artemis mission is not just about going to the moon. Instead, the main focus will be to stay there by setting up a space station called Gateway that orbits the moon and by creating a lunar base on the surface of the moon. NASA plans to build a space-bearing community on and around the moon. However, before the Artemis crew can safely land on the moon, there must first be a reconnaissance mission. That mission is called the Lunar Capstone Mission. Capstone is a microwave-sized cube satellite that weighs about the same as a golden retriever at a manageable 55 pounds. The Capstone mission's main objective will be to serve as a pathfinder for NASA's future Gateway Space Station by testing out the stability of the cislunar orbit that surrounds the Moon and by collecting data to make sure it will be a viable location for the Gateway Space Station to go upon. The cislunar orbit will have Capstone and eventually the Gateway Space Station circle around the Moon at a distance as close as a thousand miles to the lunar south pole surface and as far away from the Moon as 43,500 miles. The capstone will also test out navigation and communications with NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, which has been circling the Moon already since 2009. The capstone will reach the Moon via Rocket Lab's Electron Rocket sometime in June of 2022. First, the Electron Rocket will launch from Rocket Lab's Launch Complex 1 in Mejia, New Zealand, carrying the capstone payload to space. Once it reaches space, it will then be moved closer into position via Rocket Lab's satellite bus, Lunar Photon, with Advanced Space's capstone attached. It will set up the capstone to orbit the Earth in an elliptical phasing orbit over nine days, enough time to build up velocity for a translunar injection to deploy capstone like a slingshot into deep space. Once it is released from Rocket Lab's photon, it'll begin its three-month-long journey by using its own propulsion system to travel to its final destination into orbit around the Moon. NASA is planning to have the Capstone satellite orbit the Moon and collect the data it needs for about six months.